Welcome back to more Ocarina of Time 3D, everybody. So last time we made it here to the Spirit Temple, and we will actually see that we can't do much here because this hole, we can't fit. We're too big. These armoses are... fuck them. And then this over here, we can grab it, but we can't do anything with it because it's too damn big. So basically, we're trapped. Like, we actually can't progress here in the Spirit Temple. There's nothing down there either, just a bunch of pots. So I'm gonna leave this place. Uh, yeah. So, in this episode, we're gonna, um, I don't think we're gonna make it to the end of the Spirit Temple. Honestly, because it's fairly long. Uh, it's pretty easy. Like I keep saying, all the temples are pretty easy except the Water Temple. And I would actually argue instead that the Forest Temple is the second hardest to get through. Because it's fairly confusing in that manner, but whatever. Anyway, here's Sheik again, talking about the Spirit Temple and the Desert Colossus and the Requiem of Spirit. This song is, um... Well, here's the thing, the Nocturne of Shadow and the Requiem of Spirit are both actually mandatory to play at least once to beat the game. Whereas, the other three, they're actually optional, you know? Yeah, so... Kind of interesting, like the Minuet of Forest and the Prelude of Light are optional. The Bolero of Fire is optional. The Serenade of Water is optional. You never need to actually play them. They're great shortcuts, but you'll, you don't need to take them. The Nocturne of Shadow is mandatory because you can't get up there on the top of the graveyard without it. The Requiem of Spirit is mandatory because you need to play it as a kid, you know? So that's kind of like a little fun fact there. Alright, that, by the way, is the final song of the game. The final melody. So we are not going to learn anymore, and we are completely done. Okay. The hell? Alright, so... What I have to do now is... Well, get out of here. So it's, um... Oh, shit. A-Y-A-Y-X-A. -A -A. So we have to actually go back as a kid. Now, there's a couple things we have to do as a kid. Um, so... Obviously, we have to play that song, you know, to come back over here. However, a few things. First of all, one thing you have to do is get bugs. At least if you want to 100% the game. You have to get bugs. We're going to get one more bug in the game because there's going to be one more patch of soil, which is also why I have one more bean, you know? So we have to do that. The other thing, there's actually a mini game that we can play here in the uh, Hyrule Castle Market. Uh, and you can actually play it before you get the Lens of Truth. However, the Lens of Truth will pretty much make this a cakewalk, and really, I mean, yeah, you'll see. So I'm not gonna warp yet, uh, but instead, I will go to the Castle Town Market first, because I want to take care of that mini game and just get that out of the way, you know? Okay, so if we head over here, there is a particular building that I actually kind of forgot how it looks. Okay, it's not that, it's not that. That's archery. That's bomb chew place. Um, wait, which one is it? That's the bazaar. Is it this one? It can't be this one. What the fuck? No, it's not. That's what I thought. There's a building, I swear to God. Okay, that's, that's not it. That's the shop. That's the happy math shop. That's for slingshot. That's for bomb chew. Is it really this door? What? Oh, fuck. Okay, well... It has to be night, apparently. I didn't know that. Cool. And of course we warp. Of course. Oh my freaking god. Alright, so let's go ahead and head into the shop now. The treasure chest shop. Because we are going to play a game. Yes, a little game. Hello, you. Okay, so you gotta play... Okay, it's 10 rupees. And you get a door key. So this game is incredibly hard to do without the Lens of Truth because it's essentially luck-based. You can actually see what has uh, money and what has a key. You want to go for the keys to make it to the end. It's always random. So it's always a 50-50 shot and you have to go through like five doors. I'm not even kidding you. Like, do you know what the chance of you doing this without cheating is? Without the Lens of Truth? It's ridiculous, people. It's absolutely ridiculous.
Okay, I think there's two more actually. See, by this point I would have already fell like ten times before I even made it to like room number three or four, because again, it's always random. So it's literally a 50% chance to make it to the next door. Now, what's the chance of you making it through five doors of a 50% chance each? I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, is this the last one? Yes, it is. And with this, we get... What could it be? It's going to be the amazing, the absolutely amazing piece of heart. All right, so we... How many more do we need? We just need one more? Oh, heck yeah. I know where it is. I know where that last one is. So we have 35 pieces of heart. Damn. Damn. Okay, let's get out of here now. It's honestly a little bit stupid that we have to run all the way through. I, like, wasn't there a shortcut or something? Actually, maybe there was. I just didn't see it if there was, but... Yeah, that's my bad. Alright, screw you and your cheap game that only people that have gotten down to the bottom of the well can actually pass. Alright, I am going to... Um... Wait. Can I get bugs over here? I need bugs. Like, I really need bugs, people. Alright, um, let's go ahead and... Well, okay, I'm gonna put out this blue fire. I'm gonna burn this grass, sure. Is this even grass? It looks like grass, but I think it's dirt. Okay, are there bugs here? There's no bugs there. Damn it. Yes! Got bugs. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and warp to... L R L Y R L R L Y R L L R L Y R L There we go. Okay, so again, make sure to come over here with bugs and one magic bean. I mean, I bought all the magic beans a while ago, so I'm set with the magic beans, but yes, you need a magic bean and bugs if you want to get everything in the game, you know? Alright, so here I am. It's actually pretty simple. Um, all you do... Where the hell is the... Oh, shit, I lost my orientation there. Oh, my God. Okay, so over here, we will find the final magic bean spot of the game right here. Pretty simple, but we're going to put some bugs down. As always, uh, the ghost coachlas that are covered with the soil here do not actually need uh, the nighttime to come out. Daytime works just fine, just gotta give them a little while. And there we go. And there we go. And then the last thing that we need to do is go ahead and plant this. Normally, people would actually then go back as an adult to get the stuff from the magic bean. But we're gonna come back here anyway once we do like the first half of the dungeon as a kid. So there's no point in wasting all of you guys' time, you know? I'm just gonna come back here anyway, so... Whatever. Alright, so let's come over here to the place that we can call as a kid. So here's this Gerudo. I want to... I want to see the temple. <laughs> just kidding. Um, I'm looking for the sages. Dude! Fine, nothing really. <laughs> okay. Um... I hate Ganondorf. I hate that guy. Yeah, I fucking hate that guy, man. Don't get me wrong. What? Okay. Hmm. Really? My name is Shiny, yes. Would you go through this tiny hole and get a treasure chest? What? What are you implying to this kid, you pedophile? Oh wait, oh wait, oh. You mean the hole behind you? Oh shit. Sorry, sorry people. Just ignore what I said. Alright, um, so... Anyway. Yeah, we're gonna go through that hole down there and crawl down there, so... Yes, I will do it, sure. And... She wants the silver gauntlets. Okay. Cool. I will go through here then. Alright, so this place here has five gold skulls with the spirit temple. You can get three as a kid and two as an adult. That's actually important to know, just saying, because um, you might find yourself looking around for all of them as a kid and it's actually impossible to get them all as a kid. So... Okay, first of all, I need a... Okay, hold on. 
let's put the good stuff here. I need to do that, and then... That... Actually... Switch that over. That's fine. Okay, cool. Alright, so if we kill the enemies here... You know what? Let's put bombs. Well, that is an enemy. And he actually died right away. Cool. Alright, so there are two doorways that we can go through. Um, I'm gonna go... Eh, let's go to this one first. Oh my god, dude. Oh shit. Do I even dare fight this guy? Okay, are you serious right now? Are you kidding me? You know if you're fast enough, and you react faster, when he starts his attack animation, you can actually poke him because your attack is faster? That actually did a lot of damage though, because... Wow, I took four hearts of damage there. That's ridiculous. What the hell is this? Did this just die by one? Wow, okay. Here I need to aim this thing properly to hit the thing on the back. There we go. To make this thing fall. Uh, there's a chest over here. I will grab the- oh my god. Flying pots. That's a blue rupee. Whatever. Let me get out of here. Okay, um... Oh yeah, so... shit. Alright, so this here... This guy will actually, like... Well then. As I was saying, this guy will, um... Oh my god. Well, like, it's hard to explain that, but he, like, moves to the opposite side of the room as you. Um, so, like, if you stand properly, you can actually light him up on fire, and he dies. Cool. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Okay, we gotta be careful here. Don't you dare get hit. Don't you dare. Okay, cool. Let's go to this door. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wait for this thing to actually fall. There's a ghost coach up there, by the way. I'm sure you see that. Oh wait, that was it? Oh shoot, I thought it was... Okay, never mind. Alright, let's kill this. Okay, let's also kill that bat. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Wait. Oh, it was on the other side? I think it was, actually, but I somehow got it. Cool. Um... Are those... Yeah, they are on the other side. Okay, I wasn't really sure, but okay. Let's climb this. And I believe the other one is over here in this corner. And there's one more. Alright, so this makes this go down. Um, that's pretty cool, I guess. And now, what we have to do is get Din's fire. Oh, look at that, a chest. Oh my god, don't you dare falling. <laughs> oh jeez. Alright, let's open this. Uh, there should be a key, right? Yes, it is. It's a small key. Okay. Also, there's one more enemy. Anything by killing all the bats? Not really, actually. Okay, well. We're done here, um, and this takes us back to this room. Oh, perfect. That means I chose the right way. Cool. Alright, let's, let's crawl here in this place. And look at that. It's a small key door. It's a small key door. Wait, what the hell? Oh, nothing there. Alright. Let's go. Is that another... I don't think so, actually. Hold on. Why, well, I actually do hear a gold. Skotula. Somewhere. I don't know where it is, but I hear it. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. So here's number two as a kid. We're only missing one more. Nice. So far, it's actually been pretty easy. Here's 
There's a sun. Okay. Oh yeah, we gotta use bomb chew here. That's right. First time of the game that you actually have to use bomb chew. Well, let's put this. Let's see if I actually aim properly. I did. This here lights up the sun and we get access to, yeah. Oh god. You know what? Wait, what? The, also, did I just do something else over there? Hold on. Oh shit, I did see something else. What are you doing? Oh my god, dude. There's two of them? Why are there two? I freaking hate attacking with the Kokiri sword. It's so weak. Because I'm used to not. Like, what the hell is this? Oh. Okay, well, let's open up this chest. And it contains bomb chew. Yeah, okay, whatever. Who cares? And over here, there's another chest. This is a blue rupee. Well, that was a waste of time. Hmm. I think I need to push this. Statue here. So this here opens up a door. Okay. Not that I really care about that right now. So there's really no point in... Hmm. Doing that. Well, actually, wait. Was that the door? I think it was the door. So there's a Scorchula over there, but it's actually an adult gold Scorchula. We cannot do anything with that yet. The only thing I can do is progress here and basically leave this room behind for now. Alright, so this one is locked. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Um, let's go ahead and use some regular bombs again because I see some of these things that need to get bombed. So just like... A lot of rooms here recently. We gotta get the five silver rupees. We gotta maneuver carefully. Don't be stupid. Oh my god. Alright, and grab that one. And then. This one. Is that it? I think there's one more. Yeah. Over here. Alright, so this, what does this do? Oh, look at that, it lights up that thing. Okay, cool. So now we have to, um, I guess... A Deku Stick is actually the easiest way. Um... Where the hell... Oh, shoot. Wait, where, where did I... Light it up. Oh, crap. How am I so blind to this, man? Holy shit. Okay, I'm doing this really slowly. Hold on. Hold on a sec. There we go. Oh jeez. Okay, uh, so that chest popped up here. Let's go ahead and grab this, and this contains... Probably a key, I'm guessing. Yes it is, small key. Alright, so now... I think to actually make it to the next room... We need to, yeah, we actually gotta push these things out of the way. Okay. So I'm just gonna grab this one, and pull it this way. So I can just grab this sun one and pull it all the way through to the sunlight. I mean, so far this dungeon hasn't been that bad, right? I mean, you know what one that's really horrible? Majora's Mask Stone Tower? Holy shit. Um, oh god. Don't even get me started on that bullshit. Don't. Okay, so by doing that, it unlocks the doorway. This one, let's go. And look at that, we need a small key. Also, I hear um I hear a spider. Oh, it's up there. This is the third one as a kid. And that's it. We also know where the first one for adult link is. We already saw that one. That's in a big massive room. 
Okay, so here's, um, what is it, Dark Net? Actually, I don't think so. I think it's, um, Iron Knuckle. Alright, so the easiest way to kill this guy is to let him attack twice and then do your stab. And just keep that pattern going. Oh my god. Like that. And you want to keep backflipping, because that's the easiest way to actually progress and make some quick work. Now, as you can see, the Kokiri Sword is not doing that much damage, because it's actually fairly, um, fairly weak. Oh god, I think I almost hit him, actually. Pretty easy, because he's so slow. I mean, yes, he's powerful when he does hit you, but, I mean, shit, I missed that attack. You do actually need to get somewhat close. But as always, I recommend doing jumping strikes because you actually do twice as much as damage with that, which I'm sure you would want to do to speed up the process. He's dead. Alright, and this opens up a doorway. Oh wait, there's some hearts. I'm already full, actually. Cool. And out here into the open. Oh no, it's the freaking owl again. How mysterious. Yes. Shiny, you have fully matured as an adult. From now on, the future of all people in Hyrule is on your shoulders. Yeah, this freaking... Yeah, okay. Turn their own magic power against them. That's actually very helpful advice. Uh, to defeat the boss of this dungeon. I'm not even kidding you. I am not. Let's open this up now. Silver Gauntlets. That's what we needed. That's exactly what we needed. Okay, now what's gonna happen? Now what's gonna happen? Oh geez. A cutscene. Who's that? I mean, who could it be? It was literally a woman. What woman have we met recently? Oh my god. She's being sucked into some kind of vortex. Okay, so she called it- Dude, you just blew my cover. You literally yelled out my name when they were right there, so now they know that there's a shiny here in this temple. Like, what the heck? Why would you do that? Oh, jeez. Okay, well... Now we actually, now that we got the silver gauntlets, I mean, they can only be worn by Adult Link, though, so the only thing we can do right now is to play this and get out of here. So we have to do A Y A Y X A. Okay. There we go. So this will take us back to the Temple of Time. And now we're going to be Adult Link. Before we enter the Spirit Temple, there's a few things we need to get. There's actually uh, one gold Skulltula, but it has to be nighttime. And one piece of heart, which will be the last piece of heart of the game. So, let's do it. Let's do it. So we gotta retrieve the Master Sword yet again. And honestly, I think that's actually the last time that we're gonna be a uh, young Link. I think so. I might be wrong, but I can't think of any other time we would need to be young Link. I don't think you have to do it in like Ganon's castle, right? For some reason, I'm, I have very vague memories of Ganon's castle, and I don't know why. Like, I just don't remember Huh. Okay, so now we're Big Link. Cool. So, we're gonna play... I totally forgot it again. L-R-L-Y-R-L. -R -L -R -L. Alright, so this will take us back into the Spirit Temple. Yes. First things first, we have to make it nighttime. So let's play this. Because the gold sculpture will only appear at night, as you already know. Alright, so let's go ahead and take this um magic beam. Let's see if I can find it. This thing moves fairly fast, but um okay, so it's not that one, but I think it's gonna be this one. Oh my god. That's very fast. That is very fast. Stupid thing. There we go. 
So that's that. Now we have to actually take it again because, uh, yeah. There's a, um... The Pizza Heart is actually up there. But it's a little bit hard to get to because you gotta time that jump perfectly and sometimes I struggle with it, but let's try it. Here we go. Okay, here we are, here we are. And... Okay, did it. Ooh. And there we go. We got another heart container, and that's the last piece of heart of the game, because as you can see, we're missing only one heart, and that's by defeating the boss of the Spirit Temple. Alright, we're good to go. So we are missing... Um, how many? I have 97? Holy shit, I'm missing three gold scorchulas, and I have all pieces of heart. That's amazing. Alright, let's come over here. Now we can actually push this block, as you can see. So the silver gauntlets are automatically equipped to you when you're adult. You don't have to like go to equipment and like put it on. You don't. It's just automatic. And now we get access to I don't know what the fuck this is, but okay. All right, so I think we actually have to beat this thing. You freaking here, take this. No, dude, that thing just hit me three times, man. That thing hit me four times. That thing just owned me, man. All right, so. What do I do here? I think it's actually up there. Yeah, there is. Cool. Alright, so this here unlocks. It actually unlocks both doors. Okay. I would have this one first. What's in here? Oh, shit. Dude. How can you defend with your freaking arms against this giant sword? I don't know. That doesn't make any sense to me. Alright, so here we have to play Zay Zay. Anytime you see the Triforce, I mean, it's pretty much indicating to you that you have to play Zay Zay. That you literally have to. Okay. Hmm. Well, there's only one way that we're gonna get over there, and that's by doing this. So what could this be? As you can see, we don't have the, the dungeon map or the compass yet. Well, now we have the compass. Okay, so... What the hell is this? Is this really only for that? Are you kidding me? I mean, that's cool, I guess. Well, luckily, there's another door. So, it's pretty obvious what we have to do, right? Because we need a small key to get through this door in the middle. Oh, jeez. This does not look like a nice room. Um, well, there's actually plenty of... Okay. I also hear a gold Skulltula, but how the hell do I get that one in the middle? I guess, um, maybe the hover boots? From the top? Possibly. Let's give that a shot. Okay, I keep accidentally putting the iron boots when it's- oh my god, dude. I don't even pay attention to, like, the little details, man. Okay, that is how you do it, but I failed miserably. So let's try again. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? Really? This should not be that hard, man. Okay, how about if I don't roll? There we go. Jeez. Okay, also though, if we come over here and play the um, Song of Time, which is YLR, okay. Whoops. We're able to move this block over and I think it leads to the gold sculpture that we keep hearing, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there we go. And it is dead. Alright, now that's number 98, so we're missing only one more here in the Spirit Temple. Wait, is this where I came from? No, this is a new door. It's a chest. Is this a trap? Oh shit. Oh my god, dude. It is not convenient to be fighting like, like this. I just got my shield stolen. Jeez, oh, my shield is gone. Not that I really need it anymore. I mean, I'm gonna get a freaking, I'm gonna get a new and improved shield. 
Did you eat it completely or did it come back? It came back. Sometimes you can get it back if you can actually kill it fast enough. But other times it doesn't happen, I don't know why. There we go. That's a small key. So now we can get out of here and go into that main room. Here we go. Right, what's in here? Oh my god, and it ate me again. Holy shit. These like likes though. That's just bullshit though. They just make them fall from the sky. Like, what the heck? I also don't know why sometimes they're immune to damage and why they're not. And they didn't even give it back. Who cares? I don't, I don't need a fucking shield because I'm about to get a new shield. I'm gonna get a better shield. I don't need my Hylian shield. What the hell? What do you think this is, man? Stupid like likes though. Okay, um, I am going to grab this thing here and push it. What the hell is that? Oh shit. I was like, what is that? Okay, well, you're dead. Um, I'm almost out of time here, by the way, for this episode. So here I just need to push this. Now, I remember vaguely here. Or actually, not vaguely. No, I remember this. If you actually go to the very last one, the last sun, it doesn't make anything appear, but it does make a wall master come out from the ceiling. So there's literally no point in doing that. Oh, this one actually damages you. Oh my god, these traps are getting deadly now. What the hell is this bullshit? Yeah, so I am not going to go ahead and open that sun over there. Because it's just going to... No. No. I'm just asking to get freaking demolished. Okay, well you're dead. Well, I guess I'm going to end the episode here because there's... Literally nothing else that I, um... Need to do. Uh, or, or, like, I mean, there's a lot I need to do, but, like, for this episode, I mean, like, how... How much else progress? How much else progress? That's fantastic English. I can't even talk right now, people. Okay, so, can I actually just kill the spider from here? Oh, thank god. There we go. That's actually it. So, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you, and as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and a fantastic day.